Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to the channel and uh, welcome to Rad Kutaro. This is going to be Libra Sun, uh, Libra Moon and uh, Libra Rising. Weekly tarot reading for March 25th to uh, March 31st, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling uh, the tarot cards, I want to remind you once again that that is going to be a general reading for Libra Star Sign. And for that reason, uh, the reading is going to resonate in a different way and as well in a different level with uh, every single different different uh, Libra. But if you want uh, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards and to give you its prediction uh, for its future, that is a subject of a uh, private reading. And for such, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So going to the Libra uh, spread for the uh, week, the first card that you do have, guys, that is going to be the death card. That is the topic of your week, followed by the second card, which is how you should not approach uh, the topic. That is the Ten of Cups. Uh, the third card is about how you should approach the topic of the week, that is the intentions and uh, best things that you can achieve and so on and so forth. That is going to be the Six of uh, Pentacles. And the last card, which is the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, that is going to be the Two of Pentacles. So once again, Death card as a topic, negative approach, that is to be the Ten of Cups. Then it is the positive approach, which is the Six of Pentacles. And the last one uh, that is going to be the final outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of Tarot, this is the Two of Pentacles. All right, <clears throat> so um, with the Death card as a topic, it does look like that throughout the week, many or all the things are going to be in flux and they will need to change. Um, what I mean is that you need to, throughout this week, your... Um, for example, your relationship is going to reach its peak, you know, its, um, its culmination and you have to aim to change it in any way you can, you know, from simple dating to, uh, for example, commitment, living together, engagement and so on and so forth. Same thing goes for your career. That is uh, because you need to kind of like try to provoke new life to spring from already outdated forms like relationship wise and career. And as well, the death card relates to that. We have to look into ourselves as well and try to, well, let's say, get rid of some um, outdated habits. Uh, if you want to say it that way, and outdated uh, standards as well of uh, of living. But what is, one is sure here with the Death card Libras is that throughout this week, you are going to make a, a clean break with the past of something of your life, like, for example, relationship-wise or career-wise. But that doesn't mean that you're going to lose it. It means that you can transform it into the next level as well. The... Uh, Accompanied card here that is going to be the Queen of Wands, which formation is say uh, passive enemies. And I could have said that with the second card that we do have, but maybe uh, this transition that you are going to go through in this week is going to place you in a bit of an awkward uh, situation uh, where you're not going to have much fun, you know, and uh, as well these um, these process that process of transformation or rather like of a transition is going to be a bit uh, heavy on you in a sense of chores as well and in a sense of uh, despondency if I can say it that way as well uh, and it is likely that you may feel a bit lost here and there not knowing what to do and how to approach a certain uh, situation well that could be said as well from the third card is just you know give it a um, give it a time to unfold and as well just go with the flow don't don't think way too much about it it seems that uh, this week is going to be a threshold of you uh, of yourself where you have to transition into a better place but uh, this threshold could be faced with a little bit of a um, a hesitance and as well reluctancy to try to traverse it it's because you, you may not have um, that much confidence 
<clears throat> so for those Libras which are having a lot of confidence within themselves, it seems that uh, the week is not going to be that impactful negatively wise, but those who are always doubting in their capabilities, in their presence, for example, uh, they will have a hard time trespassing this uh, threshold, but inevitably, uh, as the death card stands, no matter how long you try to postpone here, guys, the inevitable, the transition and the change is going to happen. The more you delay it, the more painful it's going to become. While at its peak right now, it's going to be as less painful as possible. If we can talk about pain, even for some of you, it's going to be quite an exhilarating thing, especially if you are finding yourself in a very, very bad spot at the moment of that I'm doing the reading. So uh, the second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation, Ten of Cups, and this is like feeling that your life is taken away, all of it, and that your life doesn't worth uh, living uh, from now on. Uh, so uh, this card here asks you to truly uh, face this, uh, this transition with more positive attitude than ever before, um, even if it means you know that you have to abandon a certain relationship or you have to abandon a certain project. With the death card on the prime position, it does mean that the new life, the new form of life in general, you know, which could be a new project or a new relationship, is gonna be better than the previous one. This is the always the concept with the death card. You just <clears throat> kind of like um, replace one thing with the same. Uh, but this time around better with uh, with more room to grow, should I say it that way. And with the Ten of Cups as well, you should not expect things to go smoothly in a sense of there are going to be ups and downs here and there throughout the transition, throughout the change, you, you know, abandoning some unhealthy habits, habits, for example, every smoker knows that quitting smoking, it's damn hard, you know, and at certain points you kind of like, you don't know why you are doing that. It is what we're talking about here, you know, <clears throat> as in the grand scheme with the Ten of Cups, uh, what was I, what, what was I said before that you may feel that your life doesn't worth living. So when I try quit smoking because I'm a smoker, sometimes, you know, I know sometimes every time that I try to, to, to quit smoking, it's like I question myself why I'm doing it, you know, because I like smoking. So, uh, yeah, you have to be more persistent and you need to focus on the, uh, let's say, a uh, greater good that is going to come out from that uh, particular transition. The accompanied card that is going to be the Nine of uh, Wands and the formation here is passive, uh, passive enemies. And it seems with this combination that you can do something to ease that transition, guys. But it will require to take a look at yourself and how you do things, how you manage with your daily routine and so on and so forth. With the Nine of Wands here, it does says that you can do some adaptations uh, in your lifestyle in the way you do things into your career and as well into your relationship to diminish, you know, the um, not negative, but rather like poignant aspect of the death card where you just hold on into one thing and you don't want to lose it because you don't know what you're going to do after that. And that is because we don't have, when we do possess something, it's just our boundaries reach to that thing and no further than that. So uh, it will require basically to make these uh, adaptations here and there into your life, uh, into your routine, um, relationship-wise and as well career-wise to see that actually you are just sitting into one place with no improvement whatsoever and it's some sacrifices needs to be made, you know, to let go of some uh, of a project or of a uh, standpoint into one relationship so you can adopt a, a different one. Uh, which leads us to the third card here, Libras, that will be the uh, positive approach, Six of Pentacles. It does point that you should just go with the flow, just allow it to happen and move on from there. The Six of uh, Pentacles does um, represent the structure of the hierarchy in many places, meaning the things are to fix themselves, should you allow them to, to go with the flow and just, you know, live through it. So in reality, there isn't much that you need to do here, aside from that you, aside from that you need to have the clamorous belief 
so that things are eventually are going to solve on their own accord, which should happen with uh, the uh, Six of Pentacles. And uh, as we do have this card uh, in this position, it does require from you, or rather like it does asks you to turn into more creative expression. So attend to more hobbies and more exhilarating lifestyle and so on and so forth. So you can kind of like um, overpass or joy through the transition, uh, the transition itself. Uh, one more thing here from the uh, Six of Pentacles is a, a confirmation that you can face all those plights if we make, if we say them plights, if we can say to them as a, if, if, we, quali if we can qualify them as a plight uh, on your own and you don't need anybody else's help. So, um, well, I'm finding myself right now that I'm talking quite ominous uh, for the reading, but actually the reading is very positive. It is just, you know, the initial state of it. It's, um, it could be accepted from different people in a very, very uh, bad way. Uh, just to give you an example of that before I draw the catalyst card for the Six of Pentacles, guys, is let's say that someone is liberating a relationship. The relationship isn't going well at all and they get uh, terrorized, you know, if you say physically molested in there. Uh, but that Libra really loves their partner who truly terrorized them and they don't want to let go of it because they love them and so on and so forth. But uh, with, this, with this transition, that Libra has to do it it's basically it will the, the the universe itself is gonna make them do it so they should not mourn for it that is the that is the whole reason of the reading they should not mourn from it uh, for it but rather like look forward for the next one that they are to uh, accomplish very very soon after this outdated thing ends um, in their life or kind of like it's no longer there uh, the accompanied card, this is going to be the temperance formation is passive neutrals. <clears throat> and it seems that uh, the more you allow things to happen on their own accord here, uh, the more balanced standpoints uh, you are going to adopt for that, you are going to start to see the, the sunshine through the clouds, if I may express myself that way, and your confidence is going to be boosted boosted more and more and you are not gonna anymore feel any compassion nor a regret for whatever it is going away from your life or it's kind of like replaced in their either suitor or relationship or or a project or a previous state for that matter because some people could experience that you know they may enjoy dating a certain person but the time comes where it is not enough anymore for that person that they are dating and that person kind of like propose them or ask them to move in with them and so on and so forth. And that Libra could say, ah, why are you spoiling or kind of like you are messing up the situation? But in the same time, that is the natural way how, how things should go forth. And if, you, and if you allow thing to happen on its own accord, meaning, you know, just take the leap of faith and go with the flow. Uh, then you are to see that that is actually uh, in a much, you are to find yourself in a much better state and you will have no regret whatsoever that, for example, you lost that uh, stage of dating. And uh, finally, for you guys, uh, should you follow that guidance of tarot, which simply can be uh, classified as just, you know, whatever has to happen is going to happen and just move along with it and uh, go with the current. Two of Pentacles manifest itself, and with the Two of Pentacles, it seems that many um, new paths are going to be open for you to take, as the Two of Pentacles is all about being playful, is all about not sitting on a uh, established concepts, right, and uh, established ideas. So from there, it seems that you will have the power to forge your fate, at least for the near future with the Two of Pentacles. And it's important to acknowledge that uh, minor changes that are happening around you should not be taken as any obstacles, but rather as a, an option avail options available for you to expand and sprout your environment, either relationship-wise or either career-wise for that matter. So uh, <clears throat> the whole process is going to give you room for to be uh, a, a lot more 
playful and a lot, a lot more experimenting and as well cheerful and kind of detached from many serious things as well. So it's kind of like you're gonna obtain a, a lot of freedom in your life. The accompanied card that is going to be the Queen of Swords formation, it is a, the passive uh, enemies here. And you will be able to completely forget about the previous experience with uh, the Queen of Swords falling into this uh, into this combination. So the previous experience will no longer matter at all. So if you had any wrangles, for example, with, uh, with your boyfriend or with your girlfriend, you move to the next stage of your relationship and those wrangles just you know they they are left in the past and they no longer no longer bothers you either of you and from there you can proceed being very playful um structuring your future like thinking of your future making big plans and so on and so forth being being kind of like uh, ready or open for everything new that is to come. Same goes for your career as well. So it does look like uh, for you Libras that this is going to be a week of, uh, of, of an improvement. Should you be capable to let go of uh, once again, uh, outdated standards, outdated standpoints as well. And uh, you are determined to traverse what is in flux into a, a change that is needed to happen in order, like I said, the new life to spring from old forums. So that being said, Libras, this was your uh, weekly tarot reading for uh, March 25th to uh, March 31st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, once again, this was a general reading for Libra star sign. And for that reason, uh, this reading is going to resonate in a different way and as well in a different level with every single different Libra. But if you want more personal touch, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, just like I did for the 40 few examples in this video, and you want me to give you a, a prediction for it, that is a subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you're going to find on the very front page a full list of my services and as well their pricing starting from uh, just as little as $12 for recorded reading and $15 for a uh, live reading. Rat signing out now guys. See you next time. Bye.